Welcome to a short video on TCAM carving. My name is Scott Hopman, and I'm a technical consulting engineer with Cisco's data center route and switch team. This video was created as a brief introduction into the concept of TCAM on Nexus 9000 series switches. It is not intended to be an exhaustive guide, but instead to allow you to familiarize yourself with the general theories regarding the reallocation of TCAM resources in your Nexus switch. TCAM, or Ternary Content Addressable Memory, is a portion of the memory located in the hardware of the switch. It is highly specialized and is dedicated to storing ACL for specific features. It is also a finite resource, meaning there is a limited amount of this memory and it is fully allocated by default. But there are some switch features which require dedicated TCAM space but do not have space allocated to them by default. If you require one of these features, then you will need to reallocate or carve TCAM space. Some features that may require TCAM carving but are not carved by default are Network Address Translation, or NAT, Quality of Service, or QoS, and Layer 2 Port Access Lists, or PACLs. Before we get started, here are a few useful commands for checking TCAM on a Nexus switch. Without adequate TCAM carving, syslog errors may be seen, or needed configurations may not even be possible. Let's take a look at a Nexus 9300FX2 on which we need to configure NAT. By default, Nexus 9000 series switches will not have TCAM carved for NAT. We can enable the feature without issue, but the moment that I attempt to assign an interface as a NAT inside interface, we are immediately greeted with an error. Let's take a closer look at the TCAM to understand what is missing and where. TCAM is broken up into two major areas, ingress and egress. Each area is then broken up into individual regions where TCAM is allocated. The TCAM memory itself comes in two different sizes, single slices of 256 or double wide slices of 512. These single or double wide slices need to be moved as such, meaning if we need to reallocate some TCAM memory, it must be done in multiples of 256 or 512 depending on the slice we are moving. We can use Show System Internal Access List Globals to see the current TCAM allocation. Here we see the major ingress region, along with the smaller regions within it, and the amount of TCAM currently allocated to each region. Different model Nexus 9000 series switches will have different default TCAM allocations. In this particular switch, we see Ingress Rackle, for instance, currently has a size of 2304. Since a slice of TCAM is 256, and 9 times 256 equals 2304, this represents 9 slices of TCAM that are allocated to this region. We can see that the ingress area has a total of 5120 TCAM available, and that all of that is currently allocated. Next we can see the major egress region, and all of the smaller region's current allocations. Notice that NAT is currently allocated 0 TCAM, so we will need to allocate it. But since all TCAM is already allocated by default, we will first need to free some TCAM resources. To do this, we will reallocate a lesser amount to whichever region we are pulling from. When considering where to pull our TCAM from, it's important to remember that the ingress and egress major areas must remain separate. We cannot pull from the egress in order to allocate to the ingress area. Since NAT is in the ingress area, we will need to pull our TCAM from that same ingress area. The ingress rackle region has a large amount of TCAM allocated and might make a good place to pull from. First, let's check to see what portion of the TCAM currently allocated to rackle is being used. We can check this with Show System Internal Access List Resource Utilization. Here we can see that of the 2304 TCAM allocated to the ingress rackle region, only 2, or 0.08%, is used, with 2302 currently unused. So, this is a good region to pull from. Now let's take a look at the commands to make this change. NAT requires a double wide slice of TCAM on the switch, so it must be in multiples of 512. In order to free 512 from the Rackle region, we will redefine the TCAM allocated to Rackle as 512 less than the current allocation. 2304 minus 512 is 1792. So we will define the Rackle TCAM region to this value. We'll enter config mode, then issue hardware access list TCAM region, 
We can question mark here to find our exact region. Here is Ingress Rackle, then 1792. Now that we have freed 512 of our TCAM resources, we can proceed with allocating this to NAT. Hardware, Access List, TCAM, Region, NAT, 512. Notice that both times we issued the TCAM allocation command, we are immediately prompted to reload. TCAM configuration changes do not take place in hardware until the device is reloaded. So next, we must save our configuration changes with copy run start, then reload the device. After reload, we can see our TCAM is now carved to our new values and we are now able to apply the previously rejected NAT command. This concludes our tutorial on TCAM carving. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope that you found it informative and helpful.